Hey folks, it's the Red, and welcome to the hellish nightmare that is Stormy Ascent. If you'd like to learn some information about this stage, how it exists, we'll check the description below. But for now, on with the stage! So I'm planning to do two runs of this stage. The first one is going to be a blind run, since I have never played this level before. And then we'll go back and do a no damage run using the same rules that I've been using throughout the game. So without any further ado, let's begin. Since this isn't my no damage run, I'm okay with using Aku Aku for now. So let's see just what we've got going on here. Woo! Well, that just slid me all the way back down. That might be something to watch out for later on. I would've thought those last two stairs would've stopped me. Okay, this looks a little... Okay, you'll just lob it right over my head. Good. Okay, yeah, that's exactly what I was worried about. What if that platform wasn't there? Yeah, this is definitely going to be something to watch out for later, I'm sure. I think we saw a platform like this back in Slippery Climb. There we go. What did I just collect? Oh, that must have been one of those uh, broken bonus icons. I remember reading something about them. This stage was originally supposed to be home to the second set of Cortex Icons, if you can believe it, because, you know, that's just what a stage like this needs. But I'm gonna need to be careful not to collect all three of them, because if I do, that will crash the game, and then I'll have to start over. We'll just wait for these to go back up. And go. Oh, no, no. Bad, bad. At least I was able to save myself. Ah, uh, I need to be on the last step. Oh! Well, spilled to my death. Lovely. Well, this is already proving to be a pretty nasty stage. I'm not even to the top of wherever this go- Oh! It that was way too early. Oh. oh boy, I gotta pay attention to those things. Is there anything in here? I should have checked sooner. No, it's just an empty crevice. What? Yeah, I saw you coming. At least I can make good use of Aku Aku during this first part. Get up, get up, get up. Ugh. I barely have enough time to land on three of those steps before they fall down. But it has to be timed well. And this could just spill me all the way back down if I get this wrong. Alright, but we made it up. Uh-oh. Ugh! Go back up! Okay. Right, I think this is about how far I made it last time. Yeah, no, not again. Okay, well, at least I was able to bounce up. Apparently you can bounce on the spikes. That's nice to know. What? Ah, uh, that's right, mid-air spinning doesn't last quite as long. Gotta remember that when I go spinning for those guys. There's what I was trying to do. More rotating platforms. Can't get enough of you guys. Whoa! Hey! Hey! What a mean place to put a bounce crate! There's no way I could get all Ted Wampas out of that! Maybe you're not supposed to. Thank you. 
Oh! I have no one to blame but myself for that one. Maybe one thing they could have done to tone down the difficulty here is give more Wampa collecting opportunities. Just more general crates in the area would have worked for that. Okay. Quick jump. Go. Almost bad. Oh! Oh, man, because of the placement of that guy, you could easily just spin off right into the spike behind it. And now we gotta start over. Alright, let's get you out of the way this time. Thankfully, I still have Aku Aku with me. And this time, we are just gonna outright break this thing. Because, frankly, it's not worth it. Okay, we got a stationary vulture here. Didn't get much lift out of it, and there's our first checkpoint. Wow, that thing is moving fast. Oh, and these platforms are back. Huh, the ones from the ancient city levels. Nasty. Alright, go for it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I figured we would see those platforms at some point. Is that a spike under that platform? Looks like it. Where's that thing landing? Oh, it's on the platform I'm trying to get to. Look. Yeah. Alright. Level 2 Aku Aku. Okay, just some lump of fruit in there. I'm just making sure it's not one of those glitched up bonus icons that I should be avoiding. Ah! Ow. Well. So far, this level is living up to the hype. Woo. Try again to land this crazy jump. And there we go. That was a little close. <laughs> Alright, let's try not to screw this jump up again. Or was it this one? Oh, man! What the heck? Ugh. What a mess! Whew. That was a near thing. Alright, more vulture bouncing. Well, almost almost overbounced that one. No crates here? Okay. When will be the best time to go here? I guess now. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. Okay, two checkpoints. So this place already has more checkpoints than Slippery Climb did. Looks like more, uh, quick time... Ugh. Okay, I'm glad I didn't get damaged by that. Oh god, no! Oh. What the heck? I uh, wasn't sure what happened there. <laughs> okay, so yeah. Whoa! That's twice that almost happened now. I'm starting to wonder if your beakers actually have anything in them, buddy. All right. Are you 
you stop that? What? Now we have to go down? Are you kidding me? Oh. This level is too much for my heart to bear. Okay, I see another bounce crate up ahead, but it looks like it's above. Okay. Whoosh. Okay, we're good. Like a coin box. A quick jump as soon as you land on the stairs seems to be good enough here. But boy, there are a lot of spikes around. They're flipping much faster, and that's worrisome. Alright, I'll take an extra life. I'm happy to have as many as I can get. Hmm. Looks like the platform stays out long enough that I can get onto the next one. So that's not too bad. Hmm. There we go. Oh, bad jump. This card is quite tricky, let me tell you. I mean, the stairs pop in and out faster and faster the further down you go. I thought this level was called Stormy Ascent! Why are we going down? Ah! Having a hard time getting over that last spike there. Ugh. Oh, what am I getting stopped by? Is there like... It didn't look like I was jumping into a wall or anything. The stuff leading up to it isn't too bad, but yeah, this jump. Is there some reason I can't just slide between the spike and the stairs? I mean, the other ones are like right up against the stairs. This one, no, it isn't. But I guess the sliding that comes from the stairs would push you into it. Uh, let's just try and get this right. Yeah. Why didn't you jump? Oh! I don't like that spike. Alright, let's see if I can get it right this time. It's just one jump. I cleared it at least once, but never again since. It looks so simple, but it really isn't. Between the camera spazzing out and that notch up there, it's kind of a difficult jump to... get right. Okay. What? I did go between it! Could that be the way down? All right, I'm gonna try something here. No, I didn't make it down that time. I, I just don't understand it. I'm sure I jumped over it before. Okay, I've got Aku Aku this time to help me get through this part. So hopefully it will indeed happen this time. But still, that's not exactly going to help me get through it in the no damage run where I can't use him. So that will still beg the question of how to get past that last spike. But I'll cross that bridge when I get to it. Right now I just want to see this thing through the end. Alright. Careful. Okay. Yeah, that works then. So I have to jump on it while it's down and then time it so that I stop on the last step when it goes up and then just creep between them. That's gonna be a difficult needle to thread. Alright. Now we get to do this. Hurry up. 
Ugh, okay. There were jumps similar to this back at the beginning of Slippery Climb as well. Alright, some more vulture bouncing. What? I thought I hit the vulture there! That was weird. These platforms are- Whoa! That's gonna send me straight into the spike! What? Hey, ugh! Well, I caught that, but... What's this guy? Oh, okay, I thought he was lobbing them in twos, and... That doesn't appear to be breaking on anything. I guess it's supposed to look like it's breaking on this rotating platform, but oh well. Let's hurry up and get over there. Yeah. Kind of looked like there was an opening back there, but nope. Let's quickly get across here and see if there's anything over here. No, this would have been a good place to put a box, I think. Alright, now we're going up again. Left or right? Looks like it doesn't matter. It might be easier to get on this platform from the left side, so I'll go over there. Whoa, okay. A big rotating platform there, and a small one in the middle. Nice touch. Is one of these a bonus? Yes, it is. Okay, we'll just leave that one alone. They appear invisible here, and that's kind of weird. More quick-time platforms. There we go. Up and let's move. Uh, now, ish. All right. Move quick. Uh, these ones are more spread out. Ah. Yeah, that's a problem. And oh god, I'm all the way back here. Ah, oh, jeez. Just not even gonna bother with those boxes over there. Just gonna concentrate on getting up very quickly. Oh, wait, this isn't that part yet. All right. Wait for a pass on these uh, stairs here. There we go. Now here's where things get nasty. There's also more of them. Ooh. Boy, that part really requires you to be on the ball. I really hope there's a checkpoint coming up. Or the end of the stage, I'll take that too. But that might be wishful thinking. Yeah, done! Oh no! They saw the checkpoint right there! Oh. I gotta do all that again! Oh! Okay, we're finally back up to about where I was. You don't have any idea how many lives I lost trying to get back here. Ugh, come on, quick time platforms. Don't fail me. Okay, good. Let's see if we can get up to that checkpoint this time. Goodness willing. They sure like their sliding stairs on this level, let me tell ya. This one doesn't give us a lot of time. Okay. Okay, we finally made it to the next checkpoint. And now it looks like we're going to the left. Got quite a lob on that. Try to be a quarterback. All right, another vulture. Oh, they, now they're going left and right. Rebellious. Okay. No. Oh. Huh. 
When's going to be the best time to bounce on that? I'll have to have another look at it. Can't wait around much here. Whoa! Whoa. Ah. It kind of looked like that vulture was in the spike. Forcing me to land on the spike instead of the vulture. Can they do that? Better not jump too high there. I might jump into a beaker. Uh, oh, sure. Just jump right into the vulture. Why not? Uh, the further I get into this stage, the more I dread the idea of doing a no damage run on it. Eesh. But again, I'll cross that bridge when I get to it. Get out of here. But man, what a crazy level! It was very close to that spike, I let me tell ya. So I think it may just be that. Okay, that wasn't too bad. What the heck? Uh, is it just these two, or is there another one up ahead? Oh, this looks nasty. Ugh, ugh. Oh man, they change up the timing mid-jump! That is real nasty. Okay, now what's going on here? What What is the pattern? I, I see two platforms on... No, it's two sets of platforms on the same roller. Oh man. All right, go for this one. Just ignore the middle two. They're just a red herring, okay. More rebellious sideways moving vultures. Oh, I hear the end of the stage, thank goodness. And here's a weird little setup of boxes here. Okay, that one wasn't too bad. I'm gonna guess the uh, other bonus icon is in there. Yes, it is. Where's my four extra lives at the end of the level? This stage sure could have used them. Anything in this little alcove here? No, it didn't look like it. Okay then, with that, we are done with the level. Phew, indeed. All right, you saw the blind run, and now it's time for the perfect no damage, no Akuaku playthrough of Stormy Ascent, which promises to be great fun. It's not gonna be that fun. Turn back. So since I already did a blind run of this stage, I'm probably not gonna save any outtakes this time around, simply because the video is gonna be long enough as it is with the blind run and this. But we pretty much already know where all the trouble spots are, so no sense in showing all that again. And like before, we need to make sure that we're not collecting all three of the bonus icons, so as not to crash the game at the very end. Get up there. Thank you. I do notice that there's a lot more of the beaker-throwing enemies in this stage, or at least they seem to occur more frequently than they did back in Slippery Climb. And also, this vulture is rather unique. Even if you hold the jump button when you land on it, that's the most amount of height you can get out of it. Pretty weird. All right, just some basic platforming up ahead. Nothing we can't handle. And let's just wait for the stair to come up before we move forward. And let's go. Just 
really want to be done with this level already. We've been at this for too long now. Whose crazy idea was it to play here anyway? Yeah, we'll just wait for the next one. Funny thing is, during the blind run, I didn't even notice that there were spikes in the middle of all this rotation going on. And I'm thankful that that didn't come back to bite me, frankly. Okay. Here's the second checkpoint crate, and here's where things get particularly nasty. Yeah, this is the difficult leg of the race, in my opinion. Watch where you're throwing those, buddy. And now it's time for Stormy Day Scent, because collapsing stairs. The first few aren't that bad, if you get the timing right, and you're sure to jump when you need to, otherwise you'll be face planting straight into a spike there. No, the bad one is at the very bottom, the last one that goes really fast. But I have missed a few jumps here, and it has ended my run a little early. But okay, here we go. The trick here is to try and jump from the bottom-most stair to get over the spike. You could also use my original method during the blind run of slipping between the stair and the spike, but I find that to be the hard way, actually. Jumping over it does tend to be a little more reliable, but just be sure to do it from the bottom stair, otherwise you could end up going into a wall or something. Alright. Now we have some vultures that I have looked over my footage, and they actually do go so low that their model goes into the spike, so if you bounce on them when they are that low, you'll actually hit the spike instead of the vulture and take a hit. Nasty design, that, so be careful when you go bouncing through here. Alright, do not ride these all the way over, or you'll get spiked. Hey, one at a time, buddy. That's better. Alright, let's make our way up. It's time for quick time platforms. At least up ahead. There's our second invisible bonus icon. And here's another frantic collapsing stair. We have to jump from the topmost stair in order to make it to the next platform. And getting up there can be a little bit hectic. Here we go! Yeah, okay, made it. Quick time platform time. Let's do it! Just be quick about it and be careful not to hit any of the low spikes. And we're through. Okay. Like disappearing blocks on steroids. This one's pretty nasty too because of how fast it moves. Gotta make it to that back platform very quickly. Hurry up! Ugh, okay. First, come back up and let's go. Okay, the third and final checkpoint. We are just one stretch away from making it to the end. You watch where you're throwing those, buddy. You could hit somebody. And they can hit you out of the air. Alright, now for the sideways moving vultures. The ones that break all the rules. This part looks more hectic than it really is. As long as you just keep moving, you'll be okay. Okay, we'll wait for this thing to come around, and let's move forward. Now we have three sideways moving vultures, but again, they all move in a straight line, so making it to all three shouldn't be too bad. Okay, we did in fact make it, and that's it. We have made it to the end of the level at last. 
Let's uh, break the last of the boxes. Oh, boots! It's done. It's finally done. Victory! And we get the special gem as well. So I guess having completed an extra stage and collecting an extra gem, I guess that makes me 102% complete. Yeehaw! Breaking the rules! And so with that, the Crash Bandicoot No Damage Run is truly and fully completed. And so now, next up in the Crash series to be played through will be my Crash Bandicoot 2 Cortex Strikes Back No Damage Run. You can follow that link off to the right to go to the first part. Or you can check out some of the other Crash-related things I've done, such as the Crash Bandicoot series review, where me and my friends got together to review every game in the series. My friend Kaz is also doing her own playthrough of the original Crash Bandicoot, along with her brother. And you can check that out at the bottom link. And with that, thank you very much for watching my Crash Bandicoot No Damage run. I hope you enjoyed it. This is The Red. See you next game.